gets our, keeps our center of gravity better. It doesn't get us away from our center. And it allows us to link everything together a little bit better. So as you're going to approach the ball, and a lot of times it's rolling. You might have to run past the ball if it's rolling. And this is where, the, this is where a lot of reps come in hand um, in the gym or out the field. So we're going to run past it. We're going to feel it on our right foot. All right? Get into the ground. Grab some grass. Scoop it into your glove. All right? That's where I'm going to make my transfer. I'm going to drop step with my right foot. Give myself a bit of a lane. Throw the baseball. Easy peasy. Perfect. I see, as you do, so many guys, this is this one, up in front of their body. You can see I'm almost falling over. This way, then they're off balance as soon as they pick the ball up. So the key for that one is feel the deep on your right foot. Feel the deep on your, I, I can't express that enough. Second base, same thing. Two hand scoop, grab some grass. Uh, shuffle, quick pop shuffle, and get rid of the ball quickly. When throwing the second base or any base, we are throwing over the bag. If someone is not there, that is not your catcher's fault. Please do not yell at your catcher for throwing to a bag that is supposed to be occupied by a middle infielder or a third baseman. Unless you have a plan, then it certainly is the catcher's fault. But you see, why'd you throw it? Because you were stealing. It's not my fault Bobby wasn't covering second. You know, so um, make sure that when they throw it, belt high. Especially on the big diamond throwing to second base, we can defend the ball that's six inches thrown in front of us or even six 